Toothed whales, or odontocetes, are a group of highly social and intelligent marine mammals. Toothed whales are the most species-rich group of whales alive. They are generally smaller and more agile than baleen whales. There are over 70 different species across 10 families. Dolphins, porpoises, beaked whales, sperm whales, narwhals, and belugas are all toothed whales. Different species can be found all around the world, from cold arctic waters to warm tropical waters. Most are marine, except for the Yangtze finless porpoise and the river dolphins that inhabit freshwater. Some toothed whales, like the endangered vaquita, have a very narrow habitat range. Others, like killer whales and sperm whales, are distributed globally. Sperm whales are the largest of the toothed whales, reaching around 60 feet long. Vaquitas and Hector's dolphins are among the smallest toothed whale species, each reaching less than 5 feet long. Male toothed whales are usually larger than females. Like all marine mammals, toothed whales breathe air and females produce milk for their young. They have minimal hair because they have insulating fat in the form of blubber. Blubber is much thicker than the fat found in other mammals. Blubber also gives them buoyancy and helps them float. Their bodies are streamlined to aid in efficient swimming. Their flukes move vertically through the water, propelling them forward, unlike fish that typically move their tails horizontally back and forth. The flippers are used mainly for steering. The dorsal fin, located on top when present, is helpful for stability. They breathe through blowholes. Toothed whales have only one blowhole, while baleen whales have two. They have control over a muscle called the nasal plug that closes the passageway of the blowhole when they are not at the surface breathing. Sperm whales can last about an hour underwater before coming to the surface for another breath, while killer whales typically surface every few minutes. Toothed whales have more efficient respiratory and circulatory systems than mammals on land. Humans can only absorb about 15% of the oxygen inhaled in one breath. Whales can absorb over 80%. The higher amounts of myoglobin molecules in their blood allow for more efficient capture of oxygen. Some toothed whales dive very deep to find food. Cuvier's beaked whale has been recorded diving to nearly 10,000 feet deep. When a whale dives, its heart rate slows down and they obtain oxygen from stores in their blood. Their lungs collapse from the increased pressure which reduces the amount of nitrogen that makes its way into the bloodstream. This reduces the risk of decompression sickness when coming back to the surface. They can also cut off blood flow to the extremities, keeping the oxygenated blood by the heart and brain. Most toothed whales feed on one prey item at a time, grabbing it and swallowing it whole. Teeth are mainly for grabbing prey, not for chewing. Dolphins and porpoises eat a variety of fish, squid, and crustaceans. Most dolphins have cone-shaped teeth, while porpoise teeth are flattened. Narwhals have two teeth. In males, typically one tooth usually grows into a unicorn-like protrusion. Most beaked whales also have one pair of teeth, which tend to be tusk-like and visible only in males. Larger toothed whales, like killer whales, eat fish and squid, but also sharks and larger marine mammals including sea otters, seals, sea lions, and smaller whales. Killer whales sometimes work together in a group to attack large baleen whales, primarily focusing on juveniles or weak, injured adults. Toothed whales tend to be very vocal. They live social lives. To recognize one another, coordinate group activities, and maintain contact over long distances, they've developed a complex system of communication. This range of signals includes pulse sounds, whistles, songs, low rumbles, and body language that conveys different emotions. The vocalizations of bottlenose dolphins are some of the best studied among cetaceans. Each individual has a personal whistle, similar to a name, 
that it uses to broadcast its identity and location. These names are learned and developed when they are young. Both killer whales and sperm whales use group-specific calls that help them communicate with individuals in their social group. For killer whales, calls are often used to identify one another and coordinate unified hunting. Sperm whales also produce a series of sounds that are unique to their specific social group. These are called codas. It is thought that mothers pass certain coda dialects to their young, allowing a coda to be transmitted from generation to generation. Most toothed whales can see well in low light. They have large pupils to allow as much light in as possible. But toothed whales have an extra advantage in addition to their vision. They use echolocation to find prey and navigate better. Each toothed whale has a large, bulbous forehead with an oil-filled melon and a complex system of nasal sacs, both of which assist with echolocation. They produce sonar pings that are sent out and echoes are returned when they hit an object, allowing the whale to better know its surrounding environment and what prey is nearby. Echolocation is quite accurate. It can help detect tiny size differences and even fish burrowed in the seafloor. Many whales move to warm waters to mate and give birth in the winter, and then to colder waters in the summer where there is an abundance of food. Dolphins and porpoises will travel to warmer waters when faced with cold temperatures, but not at the same long distance scale seen with larger whales. Whales reproduce through internal fertilization. Killer whales, and many other toothed whales, are thought to mate throughout the year. Females have long gestation periods, typically ranging from 10 to 17 months. Females usually give birth to one calf at a time and have a small number of young over their lifetime. The mother often helps the calf get to the surface of the water for the calf's first breath and then continues to assist it by deterring predators. Once a female gives birth, she feeds thick, nutrient-rich milk to her young. Once a calf is born and nursing, it will stay with its mother for six months to two years. This means that whales often won't have another calf for several years. Most toothed whales live for 20 to 60 years. Captivity may significantly reduce a whale's lifespan. Larger toothed whales, like killer whales and sperm whales, almost never face predation from ocean animals. Humans have been their greatest threat. For example, sperm whale oil used to be highly desired for its exceptional quality. Today, whaling is banned in most countries. Only a few nations, including Iceland, Japan, and Norway, continue to allow whaling. Certain aboriginal groups are also allowed to hunt whales since it is an integral part of their nutritional and cultural life. Toothed whales often unknowingly consume plastic hidden within their prey. In 2019, a large sperm whale was found beached with over 200 pounds of trash in its stomach. Not only can the whales die from blockage of their stomach or intestines, sharp plastic shards can pierce intestinal lining and they can starve due to feeling falsely full from a stomach full of plastic with no nutrients. Whales rely heavily on sound for communication, and whale behavior is harmed by the presence of human noise, like navy sonar. Beaked whales are particularly sensitive to sonar, and several mass strandings have been tied to related military exercises. The vaquita, a small porpoise found only in coastal waters, of the Gulf of California is extremely endangered, mainly due to unsustainable fishing practices. With only an estimated 10 individuals left, the vaquita is known as the world's most endangered marine mammal and could soon be extinct. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.